Ellen. The Broward Sheriff's Office announcing a big break in a decades-old cold case murder, and they say it led them to a suspected serial killer. Local Times' Roy Ramos is live with how they finally cracked the case. Roy. Nicole, well, much of this had to do with new technology that included DNA analysis. The victim's family has been dealing with this for nearly 25 years, and they say during this time, this has really felt like an open wound, but they are now getting some closure knowing that their loved one's suspected killer is now behind bars. She was a good person. She knew the self the die the way she died, brutalized. Nancy Troopner in tears as she described her 41-year-old sister, Eileen Troopner, who was left for dead in a grassy area in southwest Broward County off U.S. 27 in 1998. Nearly 25 years later, and detectives have found her killer. It hurts. And it hurts like it was yesterday. Lead detective Zach Scott said Lucius Boyd is the man who brutally raped and murdered the mother of two. With the advent of genealogy, uh, we reprocessed the evidence to try to get the material we needed to identify the victim. And in the course of doing that processing, we were able to link uh, Lucius Boyd to her murder. And he never gave up in Eileen. He was, he was persistent in finding her killer until he did. Boyd, already a convicted murderer, rapist, and suspected serial killer, now on death row for the murder of 21-year-old Dewania DaCosta, who detectives said was killed just two weeks before Eileen. While Boyd's death sentence looms, Sheriff Gregory Tony says their homicide cold case unit will not stop looking into several other cases he may be linked to, regardless of how much time has passed. Justice has no expiration date. And when we spoke with those investigators, they tell us that Boyd did live in several places throughout the state of Florida. Right now, they want to speak with anyone who had contact with him during the 90s. He now faces new charges that include first-degree murder and sexual battery. For now, outside of BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Justice delayed but not denied. Thanks a lot there, Roy.